I'm Dub FX. I'm Fla Ferry. Yeah, and uh, we are travelling street performers who now play clubs. Yeah. <laughs> We do, we try to make all kinds of different styles of music, generally music with bass lines, bass line driven music, soulful sort of stuff. Um, but that ranges from maybe kids enjoying the music and you know, older. Yeah, we try people. to make something for all ages, usually. Yeah. but it's always got heavy beats and dirty bass lines. And not really sticking to one genre or two. Mm. She's one of my biggest influences, I'd say, because she kind of taught me a lot about uh, liquid drum and bass and jungle, um, stuff that I love now, which I never really knew about until I got to England before that was in more hip hop and reggae. So that was, that's been a massive influence. What's your influences? Um, I'd say probably reggae, drum and bass, breakbeat, ska. I'm originally from Australia, yeah. and she's originally from England. <clears throat> it's just everyone thinks Ben's Australian because he raps in an English accent. Everyone thinks I'm English because I rap in English. English. Um, yeah, no, to be honest, like, Australia, the music scene is very far behind, you know, like, ten years behind the rest of the world, in my opinion. New Zealand is way more current. Um, so, when I got to England, all of all this stuff that it was massive, like in the 90s, like jungle and jump up and drum and bass, I'd never heard of. It never really reached Australia. It's massive in, in New Zealand. It's big in Perth and Western Australia, but just not on the East Coast. There's just a lot of handbag house and rock and roll. So when I got over there, that would change my style definitely. Now I live in Australia. I don't really look at what's going on in the scenes over there. I just don't really go out over there. I just sort of chill. Um, not so much anymore. We the la we did last time we did was um, in the stream, maybe. Oh yeah, it was in Melbourne, yeah, which wasn't that far long ago. But it's just I mean, because we're now um, focusing on making new albums, two new albums. We try and dedicate our time to making two really good albums. So it's more studio based. Plus, we just bought a house, so there's a lot of work going into that. But as soon as we get the time again, we'll be right back on the street busking. Yeah, we, we, rather than, it used to be busking was like a way to make our money and tour, and now we do it right from club shows and from festivals, so um, we don't need to do as much street performing, but we still use it like as a tool to get our music out there to new people as well, yeah. and when we can. We're not close to it. We're trying not to keep tabs on how big we really are. I mean, you know, it's not—it's hard to gauge anyway. I mean, we know how many fans we got on Facebook, and we see how many YouTube hits we got, but we're not getting played on the radio. We're not getting—we're not on the charts. We're not on TV, really. So we're not that big. I mean, it's just more within a small. It's the internet, really. Yeah, but it's only in a small select scene anyway that we that people know us. Just within the genres that we like. I purposely don't submit my album sales because I don't want to be in the charts. I don't feel like I need to compete. But yeah, basically, um, I don't know, you know, like, 
I try not to preach about anything really, but like the one thing I like to say is that, you know, nothing gets done just by sitting around doing nothing and waiting for things to happen. You know, like I wouldn't be sitting here doing this interview if I hadn't taken the plunge and just gone out traveling and street performing. So I'd say if you're a musician, try go street performing as much as possible and go traveling around the world and uh, just get out there and do it yourself, basically. Well, yeah. Still it's, quite broad. Um, basically, he's managed to get us a house in the countryside. Mm. And We've basically lived that dream. I yeah. think that sums it up, really. And um, we really enjoy living in the countryside in our house. Yeah, I mean, look, five years ago when we started traveling and busking and we had absolutely no money and we were skin and shit was going wrong every five minutes, you know, we just kind of. We, we, we could we could sort of, we just sort of visualized where we wanted to be and what we wanted and we just stuck at it and you know by continuing that visualization like it's it's, it's everything like we just it, we manifested it just by believing believing it. And it can happen and doing it and yeah now we have a house and you know we, we've got an awesome life so I think you know it's it's possible it's just you just have to do it it's, you know.